The office is set at the corner of 22nd Street and Richard Arrington Boulevard in Birmingham, Alabama. This is the home of tradition and excellence. In its 82-year history, the Southeastern Conference has been home to 211 national championships. In the last calendar year alone, the SEC has unfurled seven national championship banners, from the track to the course to the diamond. Tonight, we start a new chapter in that history, a place to watch the games, a place to celebrate excellence. This is the SEC Network. The first thing that comes to mind with SEC sports is passion. We win together, we lose together. It's brotherhood. It's a family. There's so many cool traditions that you see. It's really unique and, and really special, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. We breathe it. We live it. It's part of our DNA. The will to win, it's so strong and powerful, and it drives the SEC. There's great history, great pageantry great traditions. SEC, no matter what sport you're in, total domination. You're pretty much the best and people know that. It's not just part of your life, it's part of all of your life. I'm proud of the SEC. It's simply a way of life for everybody. <laughs> SEC, and then you have the rest. <laughs> it's the best conference in the country. The fans are ridiculously crazy. The stadiums are crazy. Everything's bigger in the SEC. Those towns, those cities that support those teams in the state really get behind them and support them well. The team, your coaches, the university, and your fans are all united. And it almost takes all of those different pieces to make an SEC school. I think all of us are proud to have been a part of the conference. Uh, even though I'm kind of a black sheep in the family, we do share that bond. It is a feisty conference. It is a driven conference. It is a surprising conference. And if we had SEC colors, I would be wearing those colors. Competing at the highest level, uh, that's what you want to be a part of. You want to be a part of the best and compete against the best. Coming from the SEC, I can hold my head up high a little bit and see I always play against the best. You play like a bowl game. Maybe Saturday, it's going to be a tough game. That SEC team, I had to come with it. And that was something that definitely helped me prepare for professional baseball. There's no off week. Every week, if you're playing an SEC team, you better bring your best. The SEC competition is very intense, and I think that's why we continue producing NFL, NBA, Major League, and track stars. SEC teams are expected to win. They've upped the ante on all of their programs. I feel like the SEC is going to be at the top, whether it's track, whether it's basketball, whether it's football. Our athletes are just going to be better. When you win a national championship in college, that's as big as it can possibly get. The expectation is to win a national championship every year, and it's either that or failure. Waiting for NCAA championships with the University of Georgia. That is almost unheard of. People didn't know this for a long time, that we actually had a national championship in women's bowling, but we were proud of it. It was our only team national championship. Now in baseball, we've doubled our national championships in team sports. It definitely means a lot you know, to wear that Kentucky jersey, but not just to wear it, you know, to actually do something with it all. When you have an experience that says we can do it, it can change you, and it can change you for a long time to come. You're always going to have other people that will support you and help you, not just the time you're there on campus, but the rest of your life. I think that you take your alma mater with you wherever you go, whether you're on the road or whether you're at home. It is just really a great atmosphere to be part of. You know, they put aside their job, they put aside whatever's going on in their life, and for that day, everything is focused on their team kids from the time they're one week old it's just bad in them from the time they step foot on this earth sec fans are wild sec fans are crazy 
but SEC fans are awesome. Crazy, passionate fans that love their team. They're going to show up, they're going to be fired up, and they're going to be... Of course. Many, many victories over the years that we've shipped and won, but because of the fan, because of his love and his support, we've dominated. The greatest honor I ever had was to be an Owens quarterback. And that's where I grew up, wanting to be. So that was my proudest moment. I'm blessed, man. I'm so lucky to have been part of the Auburn family, number one, but also just part of the SEC. Just something special. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm gonna spectate. I feel like I'm part of the game too. I mean, I, I'm cheering just as hard as anybody else. SEC. Man, when I hear that roll tide go up in the stadium, I get goosebumps. Roll. If Birmingham is the epicenter of the conference, Charlotte is the new home of the SEC Network. The Queen City of the South will now be the portal for the most passionate fans in sports. The traditions and pageantry will echo through these halls and into your homes. From great-grandparents who sat around the radio to youngsters watching on their iPhone, this is a network with a rich foundation to build on. A fan base built on rivalry, but unified when the time is right. A conference that has made Saturdays in the fall a weekly holiday. 40 coaches and 102 players from this conference are honored in the College Football Hall of Fame. And we look forward to telling you all the great stories about these marvelous athletes, all the coaches in this conference, and certainly the most passionate fans in the world. Now for the next few hours, you're going to be in the very capable hands of our hosts for today, Dari Noka and Maria Taylor. Take it away, Gary. All right, Brent, 14 days until we're together again in Columbia. Be ready for that sideline, Coach Spurrier. Absolutely, now. all right. Head ball coach. The head, head ball coach, you got it right. We're not going to upset anyone off the top of the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the legend Brent Musburger has set the stage. It's our job to live up to it. Our preseason's officially over, and it's the beginning of a new era. Welcome to SEC Now. This is your home five nights a week for everything SEC. And we'll be right here to bring it to you. Yeah, seriously, where have you all been? <laughs> We've been here. We've been waiting for you. Yeah, we're everywhere tonight, just like we will be every day on this network. All 14 SEC sites, plus the Bahamas where Kentucky has played a little basketball. We'll go one-on-one -on -one with John Calipari and SEC Commissioner Mike Slide, by the way, who's here in the building with us in Charlotte. We're going to showcase multiple sports all over the SEC over the next three hours on this SEC Network launch. Take a look around. I mean, we're everywhere. How about upper left, Alabama basketball posing for pictures? How about cocky in the upper right and some South Carolina fans? Bottom left in Starkville at the junction where fans are having a little watch party, and it's Tennessee Football Media Day in Knoxville. We're going to get you to these sites and plenty more. In fact, let's start with one you're not looking at right now. We're going to go to a place that is oh so familiar to a former Heisman Trophy winner, Tim Tebow, comfortably enough at the Swamp along with Joe Tessitore, and I guess we're finding out outside why it is called the Swamp. Right, guys? That's right, Dari. This is a launch party in its own way. It's not often that my new broadcast partners bring their own home crowd or surround themselves with BCS National Championship trophies or a Heisman Trophy flanking them or an 1,800-pound bronze statue to the right. You're back in the SEC. What's it mean to you? Oh, it means the world to me. You know, it's honestly, it's in my blood. I've been a fan of the SEC since I was six years old. I got a chance to play in the SEC, so why not be a part of the best, college, the best conference in college football? That's 45 minutes. You know how to play to them. You and I were just upstairs in the football offices, got some quality time with the coaching staff. Kurt Roper, new offensive coordinator, rest of the staff there with Will Muschamp. Most intriguing 
question for you to the answer with Florida football this year? Well, I think you got to look at Jeff Driscoll. You know, what are we going to get? He's had a lot of highs. He's had some lows. What are we going to get out of him this year? And Kurt Roper, he's had a lot of success. He's been in the SEC for the last few years. He's been at Duke. What will he be able to bring to the Florida Gators this year? These Florida fans know their sports trivia very well. Like the fact that on this date, in 1987, a little boy was born in the Philippines who grew up to be a big boy. Happy this birthday, guy. Jimmy. Thank you. I appreciate hey, it, Joe. what has got for you. <laughs> it's a little bit of sugar. It's not carb-free. Thank you, Albert. But enjoy yourself on your Thank birthday. You, <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Tim will be with Jeff Driscoll in just Thank a little you, bit. Joe. Much more to come from Gangstar. Happy birthday. Oh, there it is. It's not just about being on campus, folks. It's about alumni and how everyone cheers on their school. We want you to stay involved. Show us how you're watching this launch. Give us some pictures, feedback. Hashtag SEC Network launch on Twitter. It's already blowing up.